any children uh, or anyone who needs a better seat, there's plenty of seats up here at the very front to watch the baptism. So um, with everybody standing, if you feel like you can't see, please come forward, okay? Perfect. All right, as long as we leave room in the middle, we're all set. So you can sit right there on that side, right there by that. Perfect, right there. All right, you want to sit right next there? Right there. Perfect. So we got plenty of room in the middle. Great. Now, are you all ready? All right. What's that? Okay, all right. So we'll. <laughs> Not everybody has their seat yet, so we'll wait. One more. We'll Adeline from the nursery. Yep, you can pour the water. All right. How are you all today? You ready for another baptism? It's pretty fun to watch the baptisms, isn't it? Yeah. You know what we're doing when we baptize? We're. How do I make the music? Well, I don't have any help at all. It really is. Just... You'll be very glad that I don't make the music. That very talented guy back there makes the music you hear from those pipes, and his instrument over there sends air, and I'm totally ruining this. This is not how it works at all, is it? It's in, into those pipes over there, and then all of these talented singers make the rest of the noise, and then all of you make the final bit of noise. Ah. It used to be... Now tell me if I'm wrong, it used to be like a vacuum that it pushed air all the way through tubes, uh, but now, because they have ways they can make it all electrical, uh, it just sends a, a message uh, to that side and, and opens it up. Is that pretty good? B minus, C plus? <laughs> all right. All right, we're good, we're good. And now. <laughs> The candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. I represent Carter to receive the sacrament of baptism. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will with God's help. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will with God's help. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Promise to follow and obey him as your Lord. I do. And to all of you, will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support this person in his life in Christ? We, we will. will. Let us join with him who is committing himself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers? I will, with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil? Whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord. I will, with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, with God's help. 
we strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being. I will God's so. Let us now pray for this child who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver him, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open him, open his heart to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill him with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep him in the faith and communion of your holy Lord, hear our prayer. Teach him to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send him into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring him to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory who lives and reigns now and forever. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and grace. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land, land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Carter, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Carter, you are sealed by the power of the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon this your servant the forgiveness of sin and have raised him to the new life of grace. Sustain him, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give him an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, 
a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. You can follow me just. Oh, oh, hey. We can blow that out now. There. <laughs> Let us welcome the newly baptized. We. All right, absolutely. So that's I'll, I'll bring back tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Now, my sisters and brothers, the peace of the Lord be always with you.